Okay, let's start the session now. Hello guys, good morning and welcome you all in this Transforming Workflow Copilot session. Myself, Archie D. said, I'm at host for this session. Guys, if you have any question and queries, please put question on chat box. We will be there to help you out. Let's moving ahead and talking about our event sponsor that is Synergetics. So Synergetics is an India one of kind co-porting learning solution company. Now you will get a question like who we are and what we're doing. So answering your question, we bruise through our offering and also give comprehensive advisory service to client who wish to modernize their framework. We educate, advise, implement and manage. Then the synergetic solution offering that is persona based onboarding solution, onboarding add-on solution, certification solution, certification certification add-on solution, reskilling solution, emerging technology training solution, certification hackathon solution, client cloud adaption solution, latest technology training solution, sales pre-sale training solution, practice playbook solution, and architect architecting solution. Then what does Microsoft certification does? It will give you complete learning experience. You will get trained and build confidence to appear for the exam. This is skilling journey. Here you can advance yourself. First, you have to complete fundamental certification. Then you can go with the advanced role based certification and expert level certification. In fundamental level certification, we are providing you AJ 900, AN 900, DP 900, PL 900, and SC 900. In associate level certification, we are providing you many types of certification. Here, here you can see on my screen. Then expert level certification, we are providing you AZ305, SC100, PL600, and AZ400. Guys, also we have special certification that is AZ120, AZ140, AZ220. If you want any certification, you can connect with us. Certification offering. Certification will help you to increase your visibility, expand your knowledge and skills. We do provide certification add-on, onboarding add-on like short duration modules and more. Then moving ahead and today training is organized and handled by the ATC community. So our ATC community is open to all the people who are interested in our cloud technology and various emerging technology. Under ATC community, we have emerging technology community for all. Then Azure Tech Community for Pune Kurs. Emerging Technology Community for Surat Kurs. Azure Tech Community for Nagpur Kurs. Guys, you just have to install the Meetup app and you can follow our communities there. Then you have to follow code of conduct which will create a respectful environment for all the participants. Please note that participants are not allowed to take screenshot of the presentation and cannot do screen recording. We will try to upload this training on our official YouTube channel. Uh, today's speaker for this training is Ms. Komal Sharma. She is a Microsoft certified trainer and currently works with Synergetics as a trainer consultant. Agenda for this webinar, you will get to more, know more about the topic and benefit of it. Also, guys, we are providing you uh, MS4004 complimentary learning achievement badge. You just have to follow the step and you will get the activated badge. Make sure guys you follow us on our LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube for upcoming webinars details. Thank you. Now I would like to hand over this mic our speaker. She will continue ahead. Yeah, thank you, Archie. Just I need two minutes. Uh, I'm just going to, uh, I'm having some technical issue opening my laptop. Just give me two minutes. Yes, ma'am.
Okay. Hello, everyone. Good morning. I hope I'm audible. Yes, ma'am. OK. I've shared my screen. I hope my screen is visible. I welcome you all for the session transforming workflows copilot use cases in Microsoft 365. Myself Komal Sharma, a Microsoft certified trainer, and I'm having more than of 15 years of experience as a trainer and software consultant. I'm Microsoft 365, Microsoft security and compliance uh, platform, Microsoft Power Platform solution architect, and I'm associated with Synergetic. I've handled my engagement on enterprise architecting and learning consultancy solutions. I have offered innovative solutions on Microsoft 365 identity and access management, compliance and infrastructure management for portal development. I'm having a few certification in my hand that all are my Microsoft certification for Microsoft 365 services, Microsoft Power Platform and Microsoft Security Services, and I'm having export level of certifications for the same. So as like you all are attending this session, so first may I know uh, how many of you already are aware with Copilot? Like, no, OK, this is what the role of Copilot is. Anyone you can just write in chat. OK. Can you give me uh, your answer in a line in a chat? Okay, AI chatbot, it is assistance helping. Okay, while typing. Okay, Mridula is using it for some critical email draft on a regular basis. Okay, great. So Mridula, are you already like having my co-pilot license? Okay, that's great. For coding completion, okay, that's good guys. I am really impressed like you are actually responding to me. Uh, you are uh, whatever the information you have, you are sharing it with me. That's great. So the way we are interacting right now, I want that throughout the day we all should be having a good interaction with each of us. It's not only I'm speaking, uh, speaking whatever you know, or if you have uh, any doubt, any question, any query, you can put it into the chat into the chat and I will be coming in between to the chat and will check and respond to you for the same. With chat GPT copilot is useless. OK. OK, it is just like chat GPT. Mm -hmm. OK, that's great. OK, let me take you back to my PPT. So here throughout the day I will be I have designed three learning paths for today's session. So the first one uh, we are going to start with Copilot for Microsoft 365. In our first learning path we will understand what is this Microsoft for uh, what, what is this Microsoft Copilot is for Microsoft 365, right? So Microsoft this Copilot is what we can use this capability for our Microsoft 365 services and Microsoft 365 application. 
Same copilot, we have the copilot studio that is for development and then we have copilot for Microsoft Power Platform. So here we are going to cover the capability of copilot for Microsoft 365 services. What is copilot? How it works? How it gets the data? How it generates the response? So that all we are going to discuss here. Second uh, learning path, we are going to move how we can craft effective prompt for Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365. See, this Copilot is what you are taking help from the Copilot, right? So Copilot is not in a main picture. You will be always in frame. Copilot is there to support you, to help you. But what command you should give to the Copilot? Right? How you should write the prompt effectively so that you can get the accordingly, you can get the response from the copilot. Then the third learning path we will understand that how you can use copilot for Microsoft 365 with different use cases. Like let's say if you are from marketing, so how this copilot can help you out if you're from sales, HR, IT, right? So that I will try to bring up different use cases so that you can relate it to uh, uh, to yourself like uh, like for example, I am from IT. I am a trainer. So how I am using uh, Copilot in my day-to-day -day life, right? In my organization work, uh, 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 when I am taking any session, preparing the notes, right? So that I will cover here in this third learning path. So let's start with our first learning path, where we are going to start and discuss about Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365. So I I have just noticed like one of you is having a Copilot. Uh, who was that? It is Miradula, right? So uh, can you raise your hand who have that Microsoft 365 Copilot license? Can you please just raise your hand? Let me check so that accordingly, like uh, I can help you out so that you can use the same uh, use cases or examples at your side. OK, I can see only Mradula is having the license. Nobody else. OK, no problem, guys. It's it's absolutely fine if you do not have license. Uh, but yes, you can look at my screen. You can just see the capability of uh, Copilot and later on when you will be using it with your license and with your organization account, you can start using Copilot, right? So agenda for the first topic would be to have the introduction of Copilot for Microsoft 365. What are the possibilities? What are the capabilities of Copilot when you are using with Microsoft 365 application? How you can optimize and extend Copilot for Microsoft 365? So before starting with this Copilot for Microsoft 365 services, I just want uh, you to answer me. What do you mean by Microsoft 365 services? Anyone who can just quickly write the answer? If I'm asking you Microsoft 365 services or application, what do you mean with the same? OK, I can see so many of you have answered me. So yes, uh, you are right. Microsoft 365 is what? It's a cloud application. It is also known as SaaS application or you can say it as a cloud based application. In your organization, some of you must be having Office 365 license, right? Like I'm a part of Synergetic, so I'm having Office 365 license. Along with the same, I am having, I am using Microsoft 365 services. Like currently, I am using Microsoft Teams. 
right teams is what teams is a cloud platform that is a it's a application that we can say we can use to have a chat based uh, integration or we can say we have a platform that we use to have a meeting to connect with our colleagues to have chat with them share documents right or to conduct the meetings yeah team is a collaboration tool perfect so as team is a collaboration tool similarly we have different other application under the umbrella of microsoft 365 like we have word for the documentation we have excel we have powerpoint we have outlook for email services we have onedrive right so this is what uh, are the different microsoft 365 services there are, there are other uh, applications also you can just name it like forms planner right there are different uh, other applications also uh, Copilot for Windows 11 is different, right? As uh, this Copilot for Microsoft 365 is for the 365 services for all the SaaS application. <clears throat> okay, so now why I have asked this question because it must be clear for you that uh, Copilot for Microsoft 365 that we are going to start that works or that is going to assist us to work with our 365 application like when we are using outlook or you are using teams you are using word excel powerpoint so how we can use copilot capabilities here uh who is raising hand rushil shah okay rushil rushil you whatever is your question or doubt you can write in the chat Have you written something? OK, no. OK, so Rushil, you can just put your hands down and whatever is your query, feel free to put it into the chat. OK, not immediately, but yes, whenever I will be come, uh, I will be coming back to this chat. I will be answering you for the same. OK. OK, so let's move ahead. OK, so Microsoft 365. Microsoft 365, as we have just discussed, is a cloud platform. It's a bundle of your cloud services. So Microsoft 365 Copilot, OK? You can take it as an AI tool. It's a feature that is helping you out to work with different Office 365 application and data, right? So here in this module, you are going to have idea. What is this co-pilot for uh, Office 365 is all about? How it actually works, right? What is the uh, capability? How it performs uh, these tasks for you, right? Behind the scene, what is the mechanism? What is the architecture for the scene? What are the core components for Microsoft 365? And Microsoft commitment to responsible AI practices. So there is a, a quick video for Copilot. I just would like to uh, show you for the same. Um, let me know if you are able to have a sound of it. Guys, may know, are you having the sound for the same? No, OK, no problem. Let me just share my screen again so that I can share with sound. I hope now it must be audible. Is it? OK, OK, perfect. <clears throat> well, there is no uh, actual uh, sound, but there is just a background music. So 
with the video if you are having the background now is of course it must be very interesting for you that's why okay so this video is just to show you the capability of microsoft 365 that we are going to discuss uh, for the session Okay, I hope. Okay, so I hope this video you find well. So you might have observed the capability of Microsoft uh, Copilot, how it is going to help you out when you are using Microsoft Teams, you are having chat with your colleagues or with a group, how it can uh, draft a reply for you. When you are working with Microsoft uh, Word document, right? How it is going to create a new document with the help of other documents? How it is going to create a new PPT? If already a PPT or a document is there, it can help you out to summarize and all, right? There are so many things that you can do with the help of Copilot. So now let's understand what is this Copilot for Microsoft 365 is all about. So Microsoft 365 is like you can take it uh, when you are using word okay so word means like you are what are the things that, that generally we do while making the documents anyone who can just re reply me quickly i hope uh, many of you must be using microsoft word can you let me know some use cases documentation okay can we write it like as a as a report creating reports creating assignments right preparing a draft okay resume very good any other example styling okay proposal Mm hmm. OK. Oh, that's great. So yes, so when we are using Microsoft Copilot here, we are using its capability to write a document, to transform a document, to summarize a document. If you want to focus to any particular area, any particular prayer paragraph, any headings, any key points so that you all can do with the help of Copilot when you are using Microsoft Word. See, when you are using Copilot, as the name itself is what? That is Copilot. Have you ever heard this word somewhere else? Anyone? This is this word is very familiar. Anyone? Where you have heard this word Copilot? Right, air industry. So, what is the role of this Copilot there in airline industry? What does Copilot do? Assisting, perfect. So as Copilot in 
air industry we use we call that word as the assistant but main pilot is the one who is responsible for the flight right yeah he is the the main pilot is a different and co pilot is there just to help him or just to assist him similarly same way here we have microsoft co pilot so co pilot we can take it that you are always a main pilot right you are flying the the plane but co pilot is there just to support you just to assist you like sometime it happens that when we have to create any document but we do not know how to start where to start we all are like it's not like right now there are 70 people in this in this session we all 70 people do not know how to uh, draft the document or we do not have the good vocabulary or the sentence making capability we have a very good technical knowledge but sometimes we take so much time to create a document and even if you are very good in uh, drafting the email or uh, writing very good sentences and all using good vocabulary and all but still it takes time right and we want that we should be productive most of the time should be used to do some productive work some important work not to do this boring documentation so what if we have something to help us or to assist us just to do all these uh, 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 tasks quickly within few seconds, right? And yes, whatever is your expectation, if you are not satisfied, you can ask him to reframe that. Or to focus any particular area. Those who are uh, in uh, PPT presentations and all, they must be aware that how much time it takes to create a PPTs putting the content uh, images, right? Uh, and like uh, framing the things and all. But here when you have a tool, you can create the PPT within few seconds with all your key points that you want to mention in a document in a, in a PPT. Or let's say already you have a document ready with the help of that document. You want to create or pick up some key point and put it into the PPT so that all things are possible with the help of co-pilot but always this should be clear in your mind this co-pilot is always to assist you whatever the output co-pilot is giving don't trust 100 percent on it as we are the co we are the main pilot we are going to check we are going to review the content that is generated by co-pilot we have to be sure that yes, this is what the content that I was looking looking for. This is what the hundred percent correct one. If not, so sometime it may happen that you need to modify the same. You need to make some changes. You need to rephrase the same, right? <clears throat> Here I have one more video just to uh, show you the co-pilot ecosystem. Just have a look. Microsoft 365 Copilot is powered by what we call the Copilot system, a sophisticated processing and orchestration engine. It harnesses the power of three foundational technologies, the Microsoft 365 apps, that's Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Teams, and more. The Microsoft Graph, that's all your content and context, your emails, files, meetings, chats, and calendar. And a large language model, or LLM, a creative engine capable of parsing and producing human-readable text, all accessible through natural language. It starts with a prompt from you in an app. Copilot pre-processes the prompt through an approach called grounding. Put simply, grounding improves the quality of the prompt, so you get answers that are relevant and actionable. One of the most important parts of grounding is making a call to the Microsoft Graph to retrieve your business content and context. Copilot combines this user data from the graph with other inputs to improve the prompt. It then sends that modified prompt to the LLM. You may be familiar with what an LLM can do based on your experience with ChatGPT or Bing Chat. Copilot takes the response from the LLM and post-processes it. This post-processing includes additional grounding calls to the graph, responsible AI checks, security, compliance and privacy reviews, and command generation. 
Finally, Copilot sends a response to the user and commands back to the apps. Copilot iteratively processes and orchestrates these sophisticated services to produce a result that feels like magic. Microsoft 360. Okay, I hope you find this uh, video useful. Now let me explain you in a uh, more, me more meaningful way. What is this co-pilot for Microsoft 365 is all about? See this Microsoft 365 co-pilot. It basically transform your work in three meaningful ways, right? First, this help you to create the content faster and more efficiently. Right. As I just said, whatever the documentation work you do or while making the PPT or working with the Excel sheets, most of the work is like, you know, we just uh, uh, we can say we waste our most of the time in these things, right? Making the documentation, creating PPTs and all. But there are other productive work that is more important that time. But no, but that is again very important. The documentation making PPTs and all. So here this co-pilot can help you that you can create this content much faster speed. You can use your time in a more efficiently in a main, more, main uh, better way, right? Then co-pilot help you to focus on what actually matters you the most, right? Like for example, I am a trainer, right? My main work is what to working with the new topics, understanding the new technologies that is are there in the market, right? Taking the training session that right now I'm taking these sessions. This is almost like we have eight hours in a day and almost for that throughout the day we have to take the trainings. But still there are some other work, the documentation work that as a trainer I have to do, right? I have to make uh, work with the PPTs like right now for this session I'm using this PPT. You may be a project manager in an organization. You must be using some PPTs, right? It's not that always you are making PPT, but yes, any other team member must be creating it for you. There are some documentation. You are in a market uh, marketing. You have to prepare some market research report, right? Any event is done. So what is uh, the report about that event and all? So you need a person or you have to create a document or to work on that same. So but here, the score pilot can help you that this is the main area where you can focus like as a trainer. My main area is that to take the trainings right to prepare on some new topics like right now I am preparing a topic that is latest in the market so that I will be ready for the session and to train the other uh, people right. This is what my main work, but what about the other responsibilities? making uh, working with the PPTs, working with the uh, artifacts, working with assignments, right? So for that I can use Copilot so that I can focus on my main work area. Copilot makes you better at what you are good at and help you quickly master what you have yet to learn. So when you are going to start using Microsoft Copilot, so for that you must be having the related license. So those who have already Microsoft 365 license, like if you have E3 license or E5 license for your enterprise, you can use Copilot. There is an additional license you have to take along with your E3 or E5 license. Or if you have A3 or A5 capabilities, or if you are using business standard or business premium. So these are the license that is required to access the capability of Copilot. It is some additional uh, cost for that you have to pay for Copilot. Let me show you the same. OK, so this is the page you can refer for the costing for the pricing and the related license. 
so here in this page you can have the overview what this is copilot is all about the features for the same for uh, team word outlook powerpoint and copilot studio then we have the pricing here you can see the pricing for copilot for microsoft 365 right so this is 30 dollar per user per month cost let me share this link with you Ah, uh, use case for using Entra ID for Copilot. See, uh, Manish, when you have a license uh, for Office 365, okay, first that license is assigned to you via any organization, right? Like I'm a part of, uh, this is the guys, I'm this is uh, giving the answer for Manish question that is there in the chat. What is use cases for using Entra ID for Copilot? Whenever any organization start using Microsoft 365 license. So the first thing is that creating a tenant. Right or working with the account setup. So for example, when Synergetic started with the Microsoft 365 services, they have set up an account. OK, that is a tenant. Now for each and every employee they have purchased the license like for example i'm komal sharma they have purchased a e3 license for komal sharma so whenever a license is purchased we have to add that user to our entra now what is entra entra you all must be aware with azure active directory am i right like how many of you are already aware with azure active directory can you raise your hand? OK, I can see. OK, four or five people are there. OK, so Azure Active Directory that is used to manage your identities. These identities are users who are working in the organization. So as a user, my account is added to Microsoft Entra. So this Entra is uh, this Azure Active Directory is now known as Entra ID. OK, so now you your account or identity is managed in Entra. So when you have to start using Office 365 account or Copilot, your account must be created with Entra. Then only we can assign the related license to you. Like here, I was just discussing about the E3, E5 license. So whenever a license is assigned to you, your identity is managed with Entra ID. And when we are purchasing the license for Copilot for Microsoft 365, that is again managed by Entra. See all the license purchasing, assigning the license, assigning the role that is done with the help of Entra. Okay. That is an identity management platform. Yes, Raghav, you can write your question in the chat. So I hope now it is clear, Manish, that Copilot is for Entra ID. Nothing is just like you are using uh, uh, Entra, okay, for identity management, and with Entra ID, you are using the Copilot capabilities over there. Uh, Copilot with Microsoft team. Uh, don't worry, I will show you the use of Copilot with all the Microsoft 365 application. I will show you how you can use Copilot with Microsoft Teams. What this Copilot button do? Everything I, I will let you know. OK, don't worry about the same. So just to give you a short information that in Copilot Microsoft uh, Teams, like here you can see at the top, I have this Copilot, right? 
you can see this co-pilot icon here. This is here to just to summarize your chat. Like right now I'm in this chat. I can use this co-pilot here to summarize what is the discussion was done. OK, I can I will show you uh, later on when I will be coming to that topic. OK, I can click on it co-pilot. It says co-pilot is not available. OK. OK, because this is right now it's ongoing chat. So here I cannot show you, but I think it will be available here. I can use Copilot here. So here you can write like if any file was shared to you, any communication to done to you, or you have to start any communication or within any uh, chat, like you can use this Copilot icon here. Why it is not showing me here? OK, it is it is an ongoing chat. That's why. Uh, so when you have to use that co-pilot within the chat, ongoing chat or meeting, it should be enabled first while creating the meeting. So that is not enabled. Someone else is, has created this link, so that's why. But here you can see I have this uh, co-pilot icon here. I can open it and I can ask co-pilot to summarize this chat for me. Any pending uh, pending action item for me, right? So that all I can do. So I will be coming up, coming back to this part later on, later on when I will be explaining it about the same. Yes, of course. Uh, possibility that co-pilot shows error. Uh, I couldn't get you. Co-pilot shows error means what? What type of error you are expecting that co-pilot should show you? I'm not able to get you. OK, I'm coming back to my PPT. Siddiqui, just write down your, whatever is your doubt or question. You can further in your chat box. No problem. OK, so for Microsoft Enter ID based account required for authentication, as I have just explained you that when you have to use the Copilot capability, you need the related license and your account must be managed within Entra. OK, for example, currently I'm using Copilot capability that is assigned to me from my organization. They have purchased a license from me. But how I can start using that? How I can prove that yes, I'm Komal Sharma, I'm the authorized user. So for that, I need to prove myself. I have to authenticate myself. I have to log in. I have to sign in with the related account and the correct password. So when you are authenticated, you are authorized user to use Copilot. Right in your organization, it's not necessary that all are using the copilot. No, like in my organization, there are some limited user who are assigned the copilot license. So I can authenticate myself with my Komal Sharma Synergetic account. I can write the password, but yes. Am I authorized to use the copilot or not? That depends on my organization license that they have purchased for me. So if you want to use the co-pilot capability, your organization must have purchased the related license for you. When you want to use OneDrive, OK, with co-pilot capability. So in that case, your OneDrive account that enable co-pilot to collaborate. OK, so behind the scene, there is a setting that whether the co-pilot is connected with your OneDrive account or not. OK, the new outlook for window, it enables co-pilot integration. Now we need to understand that how this co-pilot for Microsoft Office 365 works. So when you are using Microsoft 365, it at its own like core capabilities, this co-pilot for Microsoft 365 is not just another feature. It's an intelligent partner 
that actually accompany you throughout your day to day Microsoft 365 integration. Be it in your Outlook, PowerPoint, Word, Excel, Team or other application. This co-pilot's goal is to save you time by generating new content and offering you relevant suggestions and making you more productive. So co-pilot, it is start working with you or for you by understanding first what is the context and what is your need, right? So it effectively stem from its unparalleled capability to understand you. OK. It analyze the content, whether it is a document you are drafting, the email you are composing or the meeting you are in. It just uh, analyze the subject matter, the tone, whether it is a commanding, it's a humble, it's a request, right? It, it is find out the structure and the semantics to determine your intent and meaning what you want with that document. Sometime you are drafting the email. It may be some like you are boss and it is a commanding tone. It may happen that you are requesting for any content or any file from your colleague. Your tone should be requesting. Right, you are requesting for something. It should be humble. Sometimes it it happens that you are appreciating to someone, right? How your tone should be. So that really very matters to uh, when you are working on any uh, content, right? So this co-pilot understand your feeling, your mood, what you are expecting with the content. Then the second thing is that that you how you are getting context from your work. OK, from your work data, what is your context? Why you are looking for for the same? Why you want to create the document? Why you want to summarize it? You want to summarize, but what you want to summarize, right? Then the second important thing is that it transform how you work. With the deep understanding like here in this first step, it has done the understanding of your contacts. That is clear. Now Copilot for Microsoft 365, it doesn't stop at just observation. Right? It just under, doesn't understand your mood and need. No, it further start taking other action. It just search and retrieve. It search the capabilities that identify the useful data and content sources that can assist you. For example, I want to create or I want to draft an email, let's say, uh, but I want to have uh, the reference of other emails or other conversation that I have already done. Or I want to have a reference of any document that I'm going to attach or that is already attached. OK. This LLM, that is LLM is what? It is a large language mo model that works behind the scene. It provides the engine that powers your co-pilot. The last language model you might have observed this capability when using the chart GPT. Right? How you are using your language to make system understand your feeling. And accordingly, how your system is responding to you in a as a human being understanding your feeling. So this is done with the help of LLM large language model. OK. So it basically LLM role is what it is basically a natural phrasing. OK, natural phrasing of your sentences of your large language and then refining the recommendation. It's not about quantity, but about quality too. So this co-pilot evaluates potential suggestions, refining them to ensure what you get it. Contextually, you're relevant and specific like I have just shown you like, for example, I'm going back to my teams. Um, here is my Teams app. Yeah, this one. As I was showing you that how I was using this co-pilot. 
right? You can start having the conversation, but here at that time, co-pilot can give you some suggestions. Like here, I have started this co-pilot. It is giving me suggestion what you want to do. Here you can write summarize team message where I was at the rate mentioned this week. This is what the suggestion co-pilot is giving to you. What you can do, what else you can do, what further you can do with the document, with that sheet or with that PPT or within a chat itself. OK, so this is what first it has understood your context and your new need. Then it is helping you to transform how you work and then now further it is moving towards offer the key capabilities. OK, so here it is optimizing your work, analyze your data, improving your presentation, streamline your, com your uh, communication, security and other user control over there. Now here in this diagram, you will understand that how this co-pilot actually works. So here you can see as a user, and with a device like right now you are using uh, a co-pilot license and here I'm a user. I'm using my laptop. OK, you can also use your mobile phone. If you have co-pilot license, you can use this co-pilot capability along with your mobile device also. But you have to make sure that yes, do you have the related application or not? application I mean to say you must be having one drive for your business account. This application with your one drive like in my uh, mobile right now I am having Outlook application. I'm having team application. I'm having one drive application. So when I open these application with my organization account, I can use a copilot copilot capability with my mobile also. Now when you have when you are ready with your device, whatever the device you choose, mobile, tablet, laptop, whatever. Then second is that you must pick any application. As I just said, when you are using the co-pilot, you must be having any application with you. That may be Teams, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneDrive or your Outlook. Then when you are good with your application, like I have just shown you that I was using it Microsoft Teams like here. This is what currently like I'm using with Microsoft Teams. I can use Copilot over there. OK, this is what with the application I have picked up. And the third is that that Copilot for Microsoft 365 license that we are ready. I'm having this Copilot for Microsoft 365 license. Now next there is a rule of Microsoft Graph. Right now, what is this Microsoft Graph is all about? Microsoft Graph that is. You can take it is a connective issue or tissues you can say. Right, these connective tissues that binds all your Microsoft 365 services and data all together. Like here, you can see the graph that how these teams is connected with calendar, with chat, users, message. So, as a user, what uh, conversation I'm having with my colleagues? What are the mails that I have sent to my colleagues? Right? Any emails, any file I have received, any meeting that I have attended. OK, so how we all are connected with each other, how my data is transferred within my organization. So co-pilot when you are using along with your organization account, it only look for your organization conversation, people and data. Though you are using it with your mobile phone, but it doesn't affect your privacy. You must be having other application also that you are using for personal communication. It doesn't use that. It doesn't check for it. It only use a Microsoft graph capability over there. How these application, how these tissues are connected with each other, how it bind all your Microsoft 365 data. 
So this co-pilot for Microsoft 365, it applies Microsoft Craft to synthesize your and search content from multiple sources within your tenant. For example, I want to ask any question with co-pilot, right? Uh, I want to uh, summarize any chat, any point. So how it is going to respond to me? Of course, it is going to look towards uh, all around like what is the conversation was done, any documentation related to that topic or not. OK, so this is how there is a Microsoft graph that play a very important role helping co-pilot over there. Moving to that here you have the organization data. So whatever the information is collected with the help of Microsoft graph. Here you have some organization data which is saved in your OneDrive. Like you have uh, all the files which is saved in your OneDrive. You have all the recordings which is saved in your OneDrive, right? So whatever the conversation you are doing, recording, even the meeting that right now we are attending, the recording is going on and recording will be automatically saved to my OneDrive and I can access it via OneDrive. Then email conversation that are managed with Exchange Online. Then you have Teams chat for all the chat based collaboration. Then you have the SharePoint that also can be used for managing the files document. That is of course the team based uh, your file collaboration tool. So these three are the core components of Copilot for Office 365. I hope I'm making it clear to you whatever I have just explained with the help of diagram. If you have any doubt, feel free to put it into the chat. OK, now let's discuss what are the main core component of Copilot. Here the very first and important thing that is your LLM. I have just given you the introduction of LLM. What is this LLM is all about? This LLM is what? This model, this large language model, it represents a class of AI. This AI model that specifies in understanding and generating human like tests. See, this co pilot is what, anyhow, at the end, it's a system, right? And we all are human beings. So there should be a mediator in between that should help co pilot to understand our emotions, our language, right? Our text, our phrase, our sentences, right? So here you have a large language model that is based on the AI model that understand our human language, our emotions. OK, and accordingly, this uh, uh, co-pilot is helping is helping us to understand our emotions, our requirements, our need. So in the context of Copilot for Microsoft 365, these LLMs are the engines that basically drives your Copilot for Microsoft 365 capabilities. Now coming to natural language processing, that is NLP. You can take it as an AI technology that helps machine understand, interpret, and respond to the human language. This language, this is uh, used by Copilot to understand our emotions, but how it is going to convey or respond to us? It is creating a document in our language that we should be able to understand. So that is done with the with the help of NLP, natural language processing. There are some components that are involved here. The first one that is tokenization. This tokenization you can take it as like that simplifies your complex paragraph by breaking down your text into smaller chunks that you can take it as a word or phrase. Generally, when we communicate with co-pilot, we write the sentence. We give the entire document. It may be 100 page, 200 page document, and we ask Copilot to summarize it. So, how Copilot is going to understand your 100 page content or the text? 
So this tokenization technique, uh, technique that simplifies your complex paragraph and breaking it down into small pieces of information or your paragraph. Then second, you have semantic analysis. Semantic analysis that helps co-pilot to understand the meaning or the context. Why you want to do that same? What is your content? What is your goal? Then is sentiment analysis like your emotions. Are you angry? Are you requesting for something? Is it a bossy tone, right? Or it's a like giving uh, uh, like uh, uh compliment someone right appreciating someone so the sentiment analysis is going to understand your tone your emotion sometime you are chatting with your colleague and using some emojis so even it is going to understand the same then you have language translation language translation is what add in multilingual task right allowing co-pilot to assist user along with different languages and the third and very important co-pilot, of course, it is Microsoft 365 application. Like here in this diagram, I have shown you when you have to use the co-pilot capability, you have to use via any application, of course. And even any questions so far about the main core components? Ah, uh, Shlok, right now this uh, session is for Microsoft 365. As I said, we are uh, here in this session to understand the capability of Microsoft 365 Copilot, right? So this Copilot, we are understanding how we can use the capability of Copilot for Microsoft 365 services. I mean, with the applications like Teams, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and all. Not with the Copilot Studio. That is a diff different, different zone of Copilot. That is a development. But yes, you can integrate Copilot capability that you can done uh, do with the help of Copilot Studio. Answer to your question, Shlok. I'm just reading out the con the question shared by Ahmed. Ah, uh, still I'm not able to get you, uh, Ahmed. Uh, do you want like co-pilot should show us some error that you have done in your document? This is what you want. No, you cannot do that. Copilot is not going to uh, find the duplicate files and all. No, that we cannot do. Answer to your question, Manish. Uh, uh, Shubham, uh, if you're asking about the certification, so certification is just to prove your capability, right? Like if you have certification in your hand, it means you are uh, aware with that capability, with that particular services of Microsoft 365, just to prove that skill. Uh, of course, Shushil Kumar, I'm going to show you some examples, some hands on, some demonstration, everything I'm going to do, but you have to keep some patience. 
right because it is very important for everyone to first understand what is this copilot is all about how this copilot perform these tasks for us right and what is the capabilities for the same so you have to keep some patience okay first let me explain about the copilot thing so then i will show you Uh, Shlok, this is a part of Copilot Studio. As I said, this is for developer. So this is not the scope of our uh, session today. This is only for Microsoft 365 Services Copilot. Uh, Deepak, uh, about the recording, Archie is going to inform you about the same, about the recording, I mean. Microsoft going processing amazing from data source. Uh, yes, Manish, we can do that. Like if you have any file, you are using it as an attachment and related uh, content if you want to use to drop the email. At a time, you can use three files all together to draft a new email. There is no such limit the size copilot can handle to read the document. But yes, if there would be any documentation about the limit, sure, I will let you know, Prasad. Uh, uh, answer to your question, Ramesh, in my organization, I'm able to query copilot, but does that mean I need to have API key? See, generally API key, I hope you know that is used for the third party services, right? To integrate, but I, I don't think it is related with the API key. But again, that is a part of your copilot studio, the development part. No, Copilot for PowerPoint form and Copilot for uh, uh, development capability like Copilot Studio is not in a scope of this session. This is only for Microsoft 365 services. Can knowledge about Copilot for Excel help similarly in Power BI Copilot can uh, use cases. Uh, see, Copilot for Excel, it's something different when you are using it for Power BI. It's totally different. Uh, Parag, sure, I will share you the link where you have uh, the information about the different parts of Copilot, right? Like Copilot Studio, Copilot for Power Platform, Copilot for 365. Just wait, I will be sharing you the related link. Huh? No, yes, Ramesh. Uh, yes, Manish, even when you are creating a new document or prepare, prepare, uh, preparing the PPTs and all, so you can have the reference of three files at the same time. Max to max, yeah. Uh, yes, Lakshmi, 
Uh, there are of course some limiters like some limitations that you need to keep in mind. Of course, I'm going to share you about the same, right? So when I will be showing you the demo while using it for Word, Excel, PowerPoint, I will be discussing that. Uh, no, it, actually this Power BI uh, co-pilot is it's really uh, a different area like where you are uh, creating the charts, reports and all. But here in Excel, basically you are going to analyze your data. It is going to, uh, of course, creating the chart. But yes, it is much more in a better way when you are using it with Power BI. It's totally different. In Excel, there is some limitation with the same. Okay, thank you, uh, OP sir. So we have Mr. Mohan Prakash Pandey with us. He is uh, uh, again working with Copilot and Microsoft 365 services. So thank you, sir, for sharing the related link. Uh, we are going to have the lunch break at 1.30. So right now we can have a break for uh, 10 minutes for a cup of coffee or tea. So let's take a break for 10 minutes and we'll come back after the break to discuss some other points. Uh, let me share you the timer. Give me a minute. No more questions, I guess. Okay.
Hello everyone, I am back. I hope you all are there with me. Can you please raise your hand? Those who are there in the meeting. Just give me a minute. I'm sharing my screen back. Okay, I hope my screen is visible. Okay, so before the break, we have discussed what this uh, co-pilot for Microsoft 365 is all about. So let's move ahead with the next part of this first learning path. So here in this model, we are going to explore the possibilities of Microsoft 365 Copilot. So this Copilot we can use with Word, Excel, PowerPoint, right? We can use it for Teams. We can use it for Outlook for drafting the email. So let's first understand that how we can start using Microsoft uh, 365 Copilot in Word. So in Microsoft 365 in Word, we can use this Copilot to compose or to create the document. We can summarize the document like here. You can see when you are using a Copilot with Word, you have an option, right? First to write that what you are looking for or what you are expecting with the document to be created. When you will open the document, like let me show you quickly. For example, uh, let me open Microsoft Word. Here I'm just going to create it a new blank document. So this is a new blank, blank document is open. And when you will open here, you will notice there is an icon for the co-pilot. When you will click here, this is the first. Uh, 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 this is the first window you will get it here. You can draft with the co-pilot. Here for your help, it is written like describe what you would like to write, include notes or an outline that Copilot can generate a draft for you. So whatever is your expectation with that uh, Copilot to create the document for you, like for example, if you want to create a resume, if you want to summarize any document, if you have to create any application, if you have to create any report so that you can uh, write over there and Copilot will be creating it for you. So this is the first area, the first prompt you will get it right where you if you want, you can edit something here. For example, you have asked Copilot to do something like write an application to your boss who request for a leave. Let, let's say or. Uh, create a. Report for me. Reference a file. 
here you have an option you can reference for a file or here you have an option slash okay you can write the name of the file for example if i will be writing this uh, referring this file and generate right it is creating a draft for us let's just wait for a few seconds It may take a few seconds. What happened? Let me try it again. Read a report. Right now I'm using the desktop application. Same way we can also use it from the cloud, like from the browser. Let me just log in. This is my office.com. I have used office.com and log into my organization account where I have the co-pilot license. Here you will notice at the extreme left side of my screen, I'm having this co-pilot. Now I can start using co-pilot here directly to use some brainstorm, decode acronyms, boost your knowledge, prep for the meeting. Like here I can use it like help me prepare for meeting. Now here it is asking me which meeting you are looking for. OK. Generating first draft content using chat GPT. There are few meetings that is available over there. OK, you can also have option. You can click on plus button. You can use emails. You can use files over there. Right, you can use these files, people, all. So help me prepare for again, write me for meeting, right? I can go to files. For example, I'm using this PPT here. Okay. Now let's see what content it is showing to me.
by the time let me go back to the document where I was using. Okay, it's not working here. Create an application for me to request for a leave for my upcoming training. Assignment. Click on generate. By the time I will come back. OK, so now here it is generating the content for me where I have asked Copilot to help me prepare for meeting and where I have referenced a document. So that was actually the PPT I have given as a reference. So to prepare for your meeting with this PowerPoint uh, title, this is the name of the file. Here is a summary where there are the key points that is mentioned in this PPT. Similarly, you can put any Word document also, right? And you can ask Copilot to give you the key points that you can discuss while meeting, referring this PPT or the document. So these all are the key points you can just go through. As I said, don't trust 100% on the co-pilot, whatever the content is generated. You need to review the same, whether all the points are as per your expectation. Okay. If you want, you can regenerate your content. Here you have an option to copy this content. You can copy and paste it to any other place, like you can paste it to any Word document or within the PPT, you can paste it as a note that you can use while explaining about that PPT or the PPT presentation. Here you have an option. If you like this content generated from that co-pilot, you can like it. And if you do not like it, you can just click on the symbol. Here it will ask you to submit your feedback to the Microsoft. OK, that why you are not satisfied with this content that is generated for you. What was wrong there? It may happen that whatever is the response generated from the co-pilot, it may be wrong, right? Many times even I have observed that when I was using co-pilot with Excel, it has not given me the correct output or the output I was expecting. So in that case, I have submitted my feedback even where you were having option to give the screenshot for the same, okay? So you are uh, Microsoft says that you are always welcome for the feedback. This option even you will get it to other places like when you are using it to the player power platform to the Copilot Studio to the Power BI wherever you are using you have an option to submit the feedback if you are not satisfied. So here you have an option share my prompt and generate response relevant content sample and additional long file. And this is the block file which was generated. If you feel like OK, you can give a thumbs up, right? Give the feedback that yes, I like it because this was a content that was exactly I was looking for, right? So this is I'm not using any particular application, but yes, this is the office.com. This is the home page where I am using the copilot icon and with the help of any documents and any, any chat with the done with the people, I can have the key point over there, right? And that can be copied and pasted it somewhere else. 
Now here you have other applications to be used like uh, here in this module. Basically, we are going to discuss the, feature, uh, the features of Microsoft 365 Copilot along with the, co with, the along, with the Outlook, with the PowerPoint, Excel, Word and Teams. So you have all the applications here at the left side. You can open it and start using it or even here at the top. You have this app launcher and you can use this Word document, Excel, PowerPoint and so on. So if I open this word here. The same even I was using if you remember I was using it here. Oh, I'm surprised why it is not working it here. Let me just try it once again. Help me. Travel, leave. Travel date request for my training assignment. So when basically you are using a blank document, so you are creating a new document with the help of Copilot. OK, putting the context what you are looking for or the goal you are looking for. Like I have just written that I want to write an application. That is what my goal. The context I have set that application for my travel travel leave and for my training as and like I'm going for any travel. OK, and I have to mention the leave request so that I will be on my traveling and for that particular time period I will not be available. OK, I'm, I don't know why it is not working right now. I just know to look on look, look into this, but no problem. I can show you with this uh, browser. Let me try the same sentence over there. Something is wrong here. I do not know why it is not working. OK, no problem. So it has uh, asked me to try it uh, later. No problem. So I will quickly give my my uh, feedback. OK, so I have given the feedback. So here basically I was trying to uh, show you one thing that when uh, the document will be created for you, it will ask you, do you want to reframe it? So you have an option to reframe it. You can also uh, like. 
let me show you here right so whatever the content is generated you will be having option to regenerate the content okay here this is the option d where you have an option to reframe it it will give you another suggestion for the document so at the end you will be having three suggestions let's say from the co-pilot so you have an option to go through all three suggestion or all four for five whatever the suggestion has given whatever the feel like you then the you you will feel like this is the perfect one you have an option to keep it if you want to delete all the recommendation all the uh, uh, document uh, reference it has given to you can remove that or further if you want to make any changes like let me uh, like uh, make it more uh, uh, directive let it more more formal or you can write like please add few more points please add this particular paragraph so it will be doing it for you if you have a document created so you can ask copilot to summarize that document for you like if i will open a document let's say um for example this is the document and here i have this option for copilot i will open it see here it is giving me some suggestions is there a call to action for me or you have an option to summarize this document so you can click on summarize this document so right now already the document was created it is just summarizing this document to you and it is going to give you some key points you know, sometimes it happens that you have to refer any document, you have to discuss about the same in a meeting or in a, a presentation, or you have to uh, pick up the uh, point and you have to put it into the slide. So that is the easy option for us to ask Copilot to give you the key points that can be discussed, or you can just have a key point uh, with you so that you can discuss about the same during the meeting. So right now it is summarizing it for you if you want to add any new content any new paragraph even you have an option to do so that is just summarized for us it says again something went wrong i do not know why it is not working it for us today thing is wrong Hope at least this time it is working. Again.
Yes, just let me do one thing. Let me just log out and log into my organization account once again. See this co-pilot uh, use the content from your organization only, not from the outside. So Manish, as I said, it use a Microsoft graph capability. So whatever the content is used within your organization, so Microsoft use that uh, information within your organization, which is generated within your organization. Like you have just observed when I was using Copilot directly from the office.com, I was having option to use it for uh, choosing the people in your organization, choosing the file. So all will be automatically used within your organization. But yes, when you are using Bing.com, OK, let me show you. For example, I'm using browser. And here I have an option Bing.com. This is Copilot for browser. Here, when I'm using Bing.com, I'm logged into my organization account, right? Now, here you have an option to start with a co-pilot. So, when I'm using co-pilot, at the top, I have this toggle button to work and web. So, here you can use this co-pilot capability within your browser. So, right now, this is free. You all can even use this uh, capability. You can open uh, Microsoft Edge. Right, I have used Microsoft Edge. You have an option at the top for using Copilot. If you have organization account, you can log in and you have an option to toggle to work or web. If it is toggle to work site, so whatever the question you will be asking to the Copilot, it will be answering you according to the content generated within your work environment or within your organization account uh, organization um, information okay like for example co pilot capabilities It is generating some content. Or guys, if you have any question, just quickly type. I can uh, uh, put that question within the uh, co-pilot for browser. OK, so let me type this question here. About the limitation of the file. Just wait.
It is taking more than the usual time. Because if you all can do it simultaneously, like you can open your co-pilot, uh, you can open Microsoft Edge and at the top just type Bing.com and you will be having option for the Microsoft co-pilot. So can you all try it? Yeah, now it is generating the content for me. So it has generated the content for me that what the scope pilot capabilities are all about. Someone was asking this question. So even like you can use this content from here. Copilot 365 copilot. OK, this copilot is for power platform. You can copy this content. And right now, guys, if you will notice the reference is taken from my organization file. So these all are the file. Can you see there are total nine files here? Right? And these nine files are within my OneDrive. Or any discussion which is done within my organization. That can be done from the chat, right? Teams chat, any meeting. So that content is generated and taken from there itself. Why? Because I have used this work. The toggle is work. Now the same thing if I will be doing like let's say I will be copying the same question. Open another tab. I will use Bing.com. I will use Copilot here. But this time I will keep the toggle for web. Web means now it is using the internet data. Whatever is there in the internet, whatever is there in, in the cloud, the information about the question, it will be collecting the data from there. What are co-pilot capabilities? Have you noticed the answer that it has given to me, the response it has generated for me? Right? It is totally different from the one I was getting from the data within my organization, that is from my work. And the reference is these nine files and the chat or the discussion. And this content is taken from the internet, from the web. You have other suggestions? You can further ask a question. Can you generate on poem? Can you use the co-pilot pro effectively? What is the pricing? Let me type one more question here. Uh, how many files I can use as a as a reference with co-pilot? for creating a document, right? So it says that when using Copilot to create documents, you can reference multiple files to gather information and insight. However, the exact number of files you can use might depend on the specific platform or tool you are using. Copilot. Generally, you can upload and reference several files, but it's best to check the guideline or limitation to the particular application you are working with. Okay, so you can ask multiple questions. But here at the top, you have to make sure you are keeping the toggle towards work or web. When the toggle is toward work, the content will be generated from your work account within your OneDrive or the file which is there in your uh, SharePoint or the conversation that is done from the Microsoft Teams. 
so this was for copilot within the browser for content generation use notebook okay yeah like similarly earlier this uh, the copilot studio was known as virtual agent so this renaming is done of course yes now going back to my ppt so we can uh, compose and summarize the document within word microsoft word you can also summarize and draft the email with copilot in outlook so when you are using copilot capability within your outlook account so you can use a to draft a new email or if any conversation is done within a mail trail so you can uh, have you can use or summarize your email thread so copilot in outlook it basically in, uh, introduce the thread summarize features right it is designed to just simplify your email management many time it happens that you have uh, you know 9 10 email thread and you forget any conversation or email or any specific content you may miss while replying to the same so when you are using copilot here for replying any email or referring any email thread any pending item so that can be done easily with the help of copilot okay for example if i am going to microsoft copilot let me open it in within browser for example here i have this copilot option so here it uh, is giving me some suggestion to start working with okay like here uh, you can use find the file that was sent from a particular person okay you can summarize recent email when i was at the rate mentioned let me just click on it I hope at least here it is working for me. I do not know what is the issue here. you can also write like summarize as here it is written summarize recent email you can also write summarize email from past 3 months or past 1 month or particular or uh, time period you can mention where i was at the rate man uh, mention something like that so here it has uh, given me a summary of recent email where i was mentioned okay so you can copy the content if you want if you want to refer any particular email and you want to just uh, uh, use the copilot to summarize that for you so it can do that okay right now i cannot show you opening any email and all okay this is my official account but yes i can show you how you can use copilot when you are drafting a new email so when i will click on new email here i have a option to uh, click on draft with copilot i can click on it you can mention what you are looking for right for example the same sentence i will write please 
write an email email to request for for travel leave for two days for my training assignment let me click on generate Now I have this content generated. Can you see I'm writing to request travel leave for two days for a training assignment. The training assignment is a part of project that I'm working on with a team of colleague for different department. The training will be take, taken place in Mumbai on so and so date. I have already booked my flight accommodation. See, this is what the content I have just written one line, but it has prepared a very good content a draft for me. You can just review the content which is generated modify the content as per your request like you can mention the place where you are going the days particular days that you are looking for the leave right uh, your uh, other uh, contacts uh, uh, like uh, whether you are traveling from uh, whether your tickets are booked or not whatever like any colleagues name so it has just given you the draft just review and do it for you so this is how you can create a draft. For example, any conversation is already done. OK, and uh, uh, you can also reply for the same with the help of copilot. Let's say this is the conversation which is done to me. And here I can click on reply. OK, and. OK. I can click on see I have open our email and here at the top I have an option to summary to summarize this email thread if it is done. For example, if I am using this email, I will click on at the top. Summarize this communication. This is what the <coughs> summary it has given me for this particular email thread. OK, so I'm just quickly uh, closing it because I cannot show you the entire content over there. OK, so this is how you can use the co-pilot capability, I think for work need license. Yes, for work it need li license, correct. So but you all can use this co-pilot for web. Um, here. Copilot for web you can easily use it is free of cost. So you can ask any of the general questions with a copilot. It will give you the answer within a proper paragraph. OK. Now let me go back. So we have used the copilot. Now you can also use copilot capability with PowerPoint. So within PowerPoint, you can create a new presentation with the help of copilot. You have already a presentation created. You can have the summary for the same. You can pick up any key points, right? For example, I can show you. I will close the word right now. And. Let me open a PPT. This is the PPT which is already created. Let me make a copy of it.
Okay, so now I'm using the copy of the PPT because I do not want to make any changes over there. Now here you will notice at the extreme right side, I have this co-pilot icon. I will click on it. And now here I have these three recommendation create presentation from any file. So already the presentation is created, so I will not opt this option. Do you want to summarize this presentation? Do you want to organize this presentation that all you can use? Let me click on organize this presentation. You can further ask any question about this PPT, any particular question you want to ask, like for example, uh, any question about the co-pilot security. Uh, let me go for agenda. See, this is the agenda, right? If you want to ask any question about the agenda, so you can write the question over there and co-pilot is going to answer you for the same based on the content which is available in your PPT. Organizing this presentation will replace the existing section. Do you want me to make changes? Let's say if I'm click on yes, please. The file is too large. Try reducing the size or use another file. OK, so this file is too large. As you can see, the size file size is 191. So it is not going to organize. It is creating uh, it is having some trouble. So you can rephrase the content or you can have the uh, size uh, of that. Like you can have uh, the sections like pick up the particular section and just place it to somewhere else. Ask Copilot to organize it. Here you have other option to ask the question like how does Copilot for Microsoft 365 ensure data security? Let me click on it. Copilot for Microsoft 365 ensure data security by adhering to Microsoft comp comprehensive approach to security, compliance and privacy. So this is the answer I have got from the Copilot. You can copy the content and use it wherever you want. And this content is generated within the from the content which is available in this PPT. Any other question if you want to ask, you can do that. OK, for example, I want to write. Uh, add a slide about. I can click on add a slide about. About let's say. Co-pilot for Teams chat at number four. Right? Let me just add it. OK, so now you will notice it has added a new slide here at the fourth place just after the fourth slide. See, this is a new slide which is added by Copilot. Streamlining Cola collaboration with Copilot for Teams chat. It has given me some key points and a picture, right? Yeah, so you here you have also option like if you want to summarize this uh, PPT. Summarize this PPT.
So you can create a new PPT. You can summarize the PPT which is already available. You can ask the question from the content which is already available in your document or your presentation. If you want to edit the content, if you have to add anything, if you have to delete any particular slide, if you have to add any image, that all you can do with the Copilot. So it is summarizing this PPT right now. It is taking time because you have a very uh, lengthy file. It is 192 slide. You can have it more in a specific uh, requirement like uh, summarize this PPT uh, where you have mentioned any particular point or any particular agenda so that you can write. Like here, as I have shown you, there is the agenda for this PPT. You can ask Copilot to summarizing like uh, driving usage and adoption of Copilot. So this is the option you have. So in our next learning path, we are going to understand the same that how you can craft a proper sentence and what if is what if is the best way to ask the question from the Copilot. So this is about the Copilot for PPT uh, for PowerPoint. So we will be coming back guys later. When I will be discussing you about drafting the content and the use cases. Now uh, let's understand how we can use Copilot with Microsoft Excel. So as I have just shown you how we can use Copilot with Outlook and Word and PPT, you can use Copilot within Microsoft Excel also. So in Excel Copilot for Microsoft 365, you can uh, use it for your data analysis, your uh, uh, marketing complex data set. You can use it to understand your data which is available. You no longer need to master complicated formulas. You can also ask uh, Copilot to create the formulas for you. Right, it can help you to find some patterns, explore what if scenarios, any conditional formatting if you want to apply. So that all you can do within the Copilot in Excel. So let me show you using any Excel file. Uh, let me close this first. OK, so this is the Excel file I have used. Let me open Copilot. Here when you are using Copilot with Excel, first the very important thing is that you have to make sure your, your data should be within a table, right? Anyone who can let me know what do you mean by table here within the Excel? Anyone? Data has to be in formatted table. Yes, the same I was explaining uh, Sai Kumar. What do you mean by table in Excel? Structure per format, perfect. So here within the Excel, you can start of course writing your data in a sheet like this is the blank sheet and I can start writing like name or uh, a product. Price. Right, I can also maintain my data, but this is not in a formatted table. So for making your data within the formatted table, just ensure your boundary. Go to insert table and make my table as header. So this is what your formatted table. So Copilot with Excel will only work if your data is within that table. Like here already I have a table created. It is in a boundary like if I show you this table design, the name of this table is table one. If you want to rename this table, of course, that is a different scenario. You can do that altogether. Uh, you can give some table style and all. But here I'm mainly talking about the copilot here. So make sure your cursor should be within that table somewhere. Now you can use copilot. Click on copilot. Now here you have an option to start editing your data to create 
any uh, column with the help of a new formulas, right? If you have to add, uh, edit any content, if you want to sort any information, you can do that. Here you have a suggestions. You can start with the suggestions like how can I highlight, filter and sort the data, show data insight, show a suggestion for a formula column. Let's say I will use it. Show a suggestion for a formula column. So now here you will notice it has given me a suggestion that you can write or you can add a column. The name can be total sales value. OK, and it is giving me the formula that will be added. That is the total child sales unit multiply by 10. OK. Now let's say I am adding it. Insert column, right? So see it is giving me when you will put your cursor. It is not yet added, but you are putting your cursor here. Insert column. It is giving me the suggestion here. Can you see in the G column? Just observe the change. Now it is showing me the total sale value. And this total sale, how you are getting? Total chai sale in a unit. This is the total uh, chai. OK, and here I will be getting the total sales. Click on insert column. And it has inserted a total sales value. This is the unit and this is the total sales. If I click on it, it is giving me the formula. So whatever was the unit was here, it has multiplied by 10 over there. If you want to undo the changes, if you feel like, no, this is not the correct form formula I wanted to add, you can click on undo and the changes will be removed. If you want to add any specific column as per your requirement, like you want to have a total sale with a total child sale, column A, column B, C and D. So you can also mention the co-pilot to do the same for you. OK, for example, I have selected these three columns. OK, suggest for a formula column. Actually, already it has given me uh, the total child sales. This is the total for these two columns C and D. <coughs> OK. I can further ask some questions like. Uh, <coughs> give me data insight. So this is the data insight it has given to us. It is giving you. The data insight as per the particular child sales unit by the date. 
So how this is, if you want to add this, you can click on add to a new sheet. And now it will be added to a new sheet. Can you see that? This is a chart which is added and this is the related data. So as per your date, how your sales is moving, it is changing. You have the chart automatically added over there. I'm going back to sheet one. You have other options like let's say if you want to um, sort your data by the launch date. Uh, I do not have. OK. Um, sort. Data. By. by let's say total chai sales let's try it OK, let's try the same. I have an idea. Let me put this question here. And I will go to Copilot. OK, and I will be putting the question directly here. Let's see that how this Copilot is framing your answer and giving you as a paragraph. Yes, it can help with descriptive statistics uh, and this can summarize and describing the main feature of data set includes mean, medium, mode and all. Yes, it can do that. Yes, of course, in Excel you can do that. Whatever the formula you want to apply, you can do that. Yes. Yes, it can. Uh, yes, uh, you can force Copilot to use any particular template for the PPT. I will show you that how you can use a particular template for the PPT. But yes, you can do that. Answer to your question, Manish. And uh, for the outlook here, when you are drafting any email, see here, you have an option. This is the uh, just click on this icon here. You have an option to uh, select the length of your content. OK, and this is the tone which tone you want to make it make it in a poem, casual, natural, directive or formal so that you can write over there. Uh, Anmol, uh, the data cache data means like uh, how it can be used. Like uh, you can ask any question and further the related answers can be given. That is the question answer trail. Like when you are using it for the copilot in the browser within the Bing.com, the answers will be keep on like something a conversation is going on. OK. If the current chart is done again, it will be started from the uh, scratch. OK.
no it doesn't store any data so when we will close that chart it will be removed but within the chart whatever the conversation you will you will do you are doing so copilot will refer your previous question or the answer it has given so further you can keep on asking the related questions Ah, uh, Ramesh, uh, I couldn't get your question. Can you please show once again how you go that co-pilot option activated on the right window? Ah, uh, which application you are looking for, Ramesh? Is it Office dot com, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Word? Okay. So I do not know actually, Ramesh. Ah, uh, Word, I it is not working today. But yes, I will show you again when you will open any blank document. Here you have this co-pilot. See, co-pilot with uh, draft with co-pilot. So this is the option you can use if you have to draft any new content, or even you have an option here at the extreme right side, co-pilot. This is the co-pilot chat. Like if you have to ask any question within the document, right? Like if al already something is mentioned, the document is created. If you want to have any key points, right? If you want to add any uh, particular paragraph, so that you can ask with Copilot to to do to do the same. Okay. Ah, uh, where was that? See now I have asked this question sort data by total child sales and it has sorted my table by total child sales unit. Um, yeah, here it is. Can you see the changes it has done for you? So we will do much more later on. We will be coming back to Word, Excel, PowerPoint and exploring other things. OK, and even we will be discussing how you can drop the proper uh, uh, sentences uh, you can craft the proper sentences to have the uh, have help of co-pilot in a better way so i'm going back to my ppt uh, yeah now elevate your productivity with co-pilot in microsoft teams so as we use teams to have a chat based collaboration with our teams with our colleagues right so it uh, whenever we create uh, we have a chat with our colleagues. So behind the scene, there is of course the chat history, whatever the, the discussion I have done or chat I have done before two months, three months or uh, past one year, two year, whatever is that. Now this co-pilot is going to help you to summarize your uh, chat history. Okay, uh, like I want to summarize a chat with my particular colleague for the last one month. OK, and if any team chat is done, I can ask Copilot, is there any pending item from my side? OK, or you can uh, use Copilot to uh, draft a reply within the chat. You can look for any particular document shared within the chat. So that all you can do. So it basically elevates the efficiency of your teamwork. OK, so it even like if even you miss any real time conversation, you can just quickly get back on the track without disturbing the ongoing flow. For example, uh, there is a meeting going on and today, for example, there is a meeting of uh, uh, schedule. OK, but as I'm taking this training and I'm not able to attend that meeting, but that is again very important for me to have like uh, what was the key point discussed in that meeting and all. So what I can do, I can go to that particular meeting chat and I can ask co-pilot, please let me know the key points or the discussion done. If there is any uh, pending item for me, if my, if my uh, if any file was shared, Right, so that all I can do with the help of co-pilot within the teams. 
as I have already shown you that how we can use Copilot within the Teams, but I can show you one more time. Let me open Teams here in the browser. See, even here you will notice within the teams, I have uh, this uh, transcription option disabled. If I will start transcription and later on after I will refer the recording, even I can ask Copilot that wherever my name was called or within uh, the discussion, during the discussion, if any particular uh, discussion was going on, or something like whatever we are speaking, you know, right now we are typing in a chat box, but whatever we are discussing, we are asking any questions. OK, so that even can be captured with the co-pilot, but for that here, the transcription, this option should be enabled. If you will start transcription option, this will be enabled. Then later on, even you can use co-pilot to have a uh, like uh, key points. Whatever the discussion was done. So within that meeting, ongoing meeting, co-pilot is not available. It says that transcriptions need to be turned on for the co-pilot to do these things. So right now I cannot use that. But if I go back to the Teams chat. Yeah, so here the first thing is that at the top you have this co-pilot, right? So this is about the overall chat experience within the Microsoft Teams. You can have uh, like what's new, any particular new chat that is unread. You have not gone through with the same. You can ask Copilot to organize that chat and all for you. Uh, what should be on my radar from my email last week? And if you any uh, summarize uh, Teams message where I was mentioned this week, when my next meeting with the particular person so I can ask this question and here like let's say I can uh, use the name of Mr. Om Prakash. And I can ask Copilot to do it for me. That when my next meeting is with Mr. Om Prakash, I can click on enter. See, can you see that your next meeting with Mr. Om Prakash is scheduled for today, 13 July from 2.30 to 3.30. The meeting is titled this and will cover various topic, including review of competency adoption, delivery challenges and so and so. So this is what the agenda I have got to know about this meeting. And now if I will be missing this uh, meeting, of course, I'm going to miss it because I'm in this training. So what I will be doing later on, I will go and ask with co-pilot. See here as right now we all are in a meeting. So behind the scene, it is creating a chat for me. OK, so now I can ask co-pilot OK to let me know whatever is the conversation going on. If there is any pending item for me, if any ca uh, question was asked with me with at the rate mention. So that all question I can ask co-pilot. This is the ongoing meeting. Similarly, the chat history will be created with the meeting that I am going to miss. So later on when I'm free with this training. So in the evening, I will go to the chat and ask co-pilot to have me the to give me the key points. Uh, what was the disc what, what was discussed during the meeting? Here I have option uh, to open the co-pilot. Let me see if I can use it here. Yeah, so here co-pilot giving me suggestions highlight from the past day or. Key points. Is there? Is there any? Pending. Question. For me. Mm 
where at the rate mentioned. No, there is no pending question for you where you were at the rate mentioned in the chat. So similarly, you can ask the question with the co-pilot. Uh, if you have to uh, create a reply within a chat, so you can use co-pilot for the same. So the first I have shown you to use the main this co-pilot here at the top with the overall chat history. To go to the particular chat, any on any ongoing meeting, you can use this co-pilot. Any meeting which is already done, you can go to the chat history and you can use the co-pilot. You can go to the particular colleague chat and you can use the co-pilot here at the top left side. Uh, sorry, right side. And you can use co-pilot. Okay. To uh, mention any uh, key points, any action pending, any file which was shared to you by any colleague. So that is what the Microsoft Copilot for Teams. Anyone, any questions so far? Uh, which format you are asking for, Sai Kumar? Which file, file, file format? Okay, 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 no problem. See, uh, Raghav, generally what happened when you are uh, in a chat history of any external teams meeting, once the meeting is over, you would not be able to get the chat history. It is removed automatically. So, of course, you would not be able to use that. But yes, if you have a chat history available created, you can use Copilot, no problem for the same. Yes, co-pilot will work only in Office 365. Uh, Anmol, uh, as this is not for the developer, this is for Office 365, but yes, for you, I can ask this question and can go to co-pilot. Let's see what this co-pilot give this answer. If the developer tool is not enabled in Excel, you need to use VB scripting. Copilot won't be able to directly enable the developer tool or run VB script for you. So I hope you have got your answer. Anmol, this was for you. Yes, we can do that, Manish. You can email draft with Copilot using the call history. Yes, you can do that. Uh, actually, uh, I cannot show you because I'm using my organization account. There is very uh, some important discussion uh, we do via email uh, regarding our clients and all. So that is very uh, private for us. We cannot show you that data, but yes, you can do that. I will show you in a break, uh, Manish, if there is any email I have available, there is no any important chat we have done or email we have done. I will show you with the same. Is it okay, Manish? If possible, I will show you.
yes of course vijay we can use copilot with our mobile uh if time permits i can show you uh, my screen i can mobile screen i can share and i will show you that how i am using copilot capability within my mobile application okay vijay if i forget this please remind me yeah yeah sure manish that's what i'm saying uh, within the break i will just check it out any email but is not very important uh, i will show you okay thanks okay so let's move ahead yeah so now uh, microsoft copilot with your graph grounded chat it is an ai companion basically that enable users to design to operate or optimize and troubleshoot the application on microsoft azure so it is uh, available in your microsoft teams microsoft bing and from the microsoft 365 home page i have shown you all three options um that is a grounded chat um like this is microsoft edge where you are able to use bing.com and you can use copilot over there okay so copilot uses this power of ai basically to help improve the productivity in a way that you never imagine basically so you can help it you can ask for help for drafting the content catch it up basically what you have missed like i have shown you within the teams you have this copilot for the grounded uh, graph grounded chat so when you are using this chat option here so whatever is the overall conversation done within your teams or related with any files or your uh, email and all it is going to have the data from all the sources and giving you the suggestion or the creating the content for you this is for teams uh, this was bing.com and the third world one office.com this one here you have this copilot this is all for the graph grounded chat okay that is bringing out the content all over from your microsoft 365 environment and answering you for the same okay so in this module we have discussed that how we can use microsoft word uh excel powerpoint outlook team what is a graph grounded chart in term of copilot for microsoft 365 now we are heading towards the next module optimize and extend copilot for microsoft 365 anyone any questions so far Yes, yes, Vijay, you can do that. Okay, so now here in this module, we are going to understand that how we can work with AI features. okay how this copilot is using the capability of ai in term of art and science okay so this ai you can take it that uh, there is a new way of working basically when you are uh, working for your organization whether you are creating the documents any email draft whatever the charts and all there is a new way of working is needed okay as according to the data from searches across your microsoft 365 services on any given work day microsoft heaviest uh, microsoft 365 users like they uh, search for what they need 18 times in a day they receive more than 250 emails average i am talking about uh, and they send or read nearly 150 chats so this is how how much workload we are handling and this of course impact our productivity 
So here you have this uh, this researchers as at your Microsoft who study AI augmented uh, cognition suggests that it might be useful for you to think of our relationship with AI through a sport uh, and like sport way like uh, for example at one end of the uh, site like as a researcher uh, they say that ai can function like a, a a very kind of a habit that sometime like giving people a short term uh, boost you can say just by offloading the work to it you have just observed that how i was using uh, this ai capability of chatbot with our word excel powerpoint and you might have observed that how like we are able to save our time and for some time we can have a relaxation okay that yes this work is done by co-pilot we can concentrate on other important things earlier this ai it was like a high quality running sneaker or just speed up our routine tasks so now we are using this capability along with the co-pilot and we can enhance our productivity without even long-term consequences ai serves as a coach it improve our capabilities over time rather than just providing momentary assistance these all are the best practices of using co-pilot that when you are using co-pilot whatever the prompts you are using whatever the uh, command you are give, go, uh, like giving to your co-pilot or the questions you are asking to your co-pilot you must be very clear what you are asking for right even uh, you must be using uh, your bing.com the co-pilot with a bing.com you must be clear with your question if your question is clear right if you have prompted very well the co-pilot output quality will be great and you will be getting the expected answers from the outlook microsoft says that as it's an ai capability so do not trust 100 percent. even i have said many times don't trust 100 percent on the co-pilot whatever the content is generated whatever the answer was given by the co-pilot don't trust on it just verify that is it really the answer you was looking is it really the content that was generated it is uh, as per the expectation or as per the document that you have given as a reference and wherever you feel like that yes no co-pilot is not giving me the answer as per my expectation or this is the wrong output that is generated or the wrong formula that is generated you are always welcome to give your feedback whether it is a positive one or whether it is a negative one like in the morning i was uh, using i was trying to use microsoft uh, co-pilot for work where I was trying to create or draft a document, summarize my document, but it was not helping me out. It was giving me error. So I have given my feedback. Okay. So you can use Copilot co as your support system, as your assistant, but don't depend on it. Because here is always your brain which is working behind the scene. Okay. So Copilot is there to assist you don't put co-pilot as a main lead you are playing the role of the main pilot you can uh, you know ask the question in many different ways there are different ways for asking the question there are different things you can do like i can ask you that you can use a uh, co-pilot to summarize your data to create any new content to analyze your content so what 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 best you can bring out with the capability of co-pilot and your creativity you need to do that you need to use that okay 
and always be updated what new is coming see like today you all are attending this training many of the things i am sharing with you even as a trainer i have gone through with so many content many blogs many uh, sites related with the information of copilot but yes every time you have to keep on updating yourself because many time many new features are introduced are being introduced so you have to be always updated what's new is coming what else i can do okay this is a new feature which is introduced by the microsoft like that i can use with a copilot now when you are uh, using the copilot it is very important that how you are drafting the content right you are uh, writing the prompt so here there are four main important thing the first one that is your goal what you are looking for are you going to create any application are you going to generate any uh, uh, any report okay are you going to summarize any content do you want to have any key points so what is your main goal that first goal should be clear then what is your context in what context okay i want to write an e, uh, write and report or i want to prepare and report but in what context is this report is related to any event that is done in the past or for example i want to create a report after this today's session okay so my goal is to create a report and context will be my today's copilot session that i have delivered now your expectation my expectation with copilot is that this content should be generated with a formal tone okay as i have to submit this report to my boss or to my manager or let's say there is a marketing uh, department and their uh, people are managing this session and they have to prepare the report okay or you can make the tone as casual so depend what is your requirement let's say you are writing any uh, email okay where you are going to appreciate someone any colleague any uh, celebrate the success of any event right so in that case you want to have a, a content content uh, Uh, created with some friendly tone, with some overjoying, with some happiness, and so on. Okay, so my goal is what? My goal is to create a report. My context is my current meeting. My expectation is my formal tone. Okay, and my source is what? Do you want to refer any source like here for this particular report? I can source the email. that was sent to me regarding this uh, event or the chat which is going on like we all are in a meeting we are having some chat conversation so i can have a source like uh, at the end you will be giving the feedback in the chat that this session was very good it was excellent or there was some area of improvement some whatever whatever is the feedback that i can use as a source for creating my report okay so this is what the best way when you are asking copilot to do something for you or to write or to build an effective prompt as per your expectation so this is just the example that how you can write an effective prompt like you start with the end in mind like this is the content uh, generate 3 to 5 bullet points this is what your goal okay second that is the context to prepare me for a meeting this is for the context is a meeting with particular client to discuss their phase 3 brand campaign then the third one is what the third one was your expectation right so here the expectation is written focus on email and teams chat since june this is actually not the expectation but here this is the source which is mentioned please use simple language so i can get up to the speed to speed quickly so you have your goal okay you have your 
contacts this is my contact context then your sorry your expectation so my expectation is return here um uh, this one and this is my <coughs> source sorry so now i want you guys can you give me some suggestion to write uh, something any prompt can you give me any prompt with a goal with the expectation okay with a context and the source anyone can you quickly just type something for me yes copilot can read the content from the pdf you can give pdf file as a reference as a source yes all of you i am giving you 2 minutes can you quickly just give me some prompt i can use you can make it for word excel powerpoint whatever you wish to and i will be picking up uh, your prompts and using it for the related document word excel or powerpoint anyone uh ikbal umesh and ramesh do you have any question you can write into the chat if not can you please put your hands down okay i have two prompts here from manish and from mayur generate email use pdf and ppt okay prepare a management report for data forecast okay anyone else can you suggest some prompt summary of an email thread summary of a email thread okay anyone else ah uh, um one question for nikunj uh, nikunj uh, kalyani nikunj so can you please let me know make it clear that do you want to make any document any email you are looking for draft any email what 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 is your like main uh, goal i i am not able to get it okay document you want to create okay
OK, what are my tasks today based on email from the past week? OK, that's good. Vijay, you can uh, simply use this sentence and you can copy it to copilotbing.com. You will get your answer even. By the time other are putting the prompt, I can show you quickly this one. Um, I can use Copilot here within the Outlook. OK, so this is the reply I have got. Is it correct prompt? Yes, uh, which is it correct prompt? See, which I will be copying it for you and putting it here in the Bing. Let me use Copilot. Make sure whatever the prompt you are giving to your uh, co-pilot, it must be having goal, it must be having contacts, it must be having source. See, you have got your answer. Okay. It may happen that whatever the answer you are looking for, it may it is not as per the expectation. So you can further ask a question uh, from the co-pilot to make it more specific. Like here you have some suggestion. Can you provide case study? What are the challenges associated? Tell me about any recent advancement. So you can further ask the co-pilot answer questions. Whatever the answer it has given me, you are not uh, satisfied. You can further ask co-pilot to rephrase it for you, OK? Suggest to reply email. Yes, of course, Copilot uh, can suggest to reply email. Like if you have any. See now here I have an option draft with co-pilot. <clears throat> and here it is giving me some suggestion. Enroll in events, ask for more detail, decline the events. And here you have other options. You can uh, ask like co-pilot to generate the reply for you. Here you have the tone. Okay. So Umesh, I hope I could give you the answer.
uh limit for number of requests i couldn't get you are you asking for the limit for the number of prompt it means for the co-pilot manish uh, are you asking for the prompt how many prompt you can continue asking if it is related with a prompt daily limit no no it's not like that so manish basically when you are using it for the bing.com that is free so at a particular chat like for example here i'm using it for copilot bing.com the questions i'm asking with the copilot like i can continue asking okay so at a time in a particular chart you can ask 30 questions okay so as per my information we can use 30 question in a particular chart if you have to continue with a more than 31 you have to open a new chart so you just have to close it okay open a new chart that's it but in term of continuation like i'm asking with a co-pilot like let me know about the co-pilot capability further i'm having a question again i'm having the question or let's say you have another option uh, or question related to another topic but in a particular chart that is open right now with a bing.com that is limit is 30 question after 30 it will ask you to open a new chart but for uh, the other microsoft 365 paid copilot license you do not have such limit for the prompt <clears throat> But yes, to give you the more clarity, I can ask this question with the co-pilot. Is there any daily limit limit for co-pilot prompt? with co-pilot for Microsoft 365. So it has given me the answer. Yes, there are daily limits for co-pilot prompts in Microsoft 365. These limits are in place to ensure fair usage and optimum performance of all user. So if you reach the quota of messages to co-pilot, you will receive a failure notice and be prompted to retry later. So let me just click on this link. I will share it with you all. Quota limits and app registration certificates and configuration value for Copilot is too good. This is for Copilot Studio. Um, okay. This is for Copilot Studio, not for specific Office 365 license. No, this is not for Office 365. As I said, there is no such limit with Word, Excel, and PowerPoint prompts. So this answer, as see, as I said, the scope palette reply don't trust always. Uh, first, verify that this is what the answer you were looking for, or this is the correct answer. So you can verify going to the different links. It has uh, attached here. Okay. So even I can go and click on support.microsoft.com. I can verify the answer, whether it is the correct answer or not. This is a very important link, guys. You can use it. This is a FAQs for Copilot in Microsoft 365. Okay. So as per my information, there is no such limit with Office or Microsoft 365 services, like let's say for uh, Microsoft 365 applications. Uh, 
if i will be getting any documentation related to the same i will give you okay but this limit is for copilot prompt in m365 that is a copilot studio okay i i hope i am making it clear even i have verified with the with the link that was shared but yes this is a important link you all can refer that is about the faqs for the copilot microsoft 365 Okay, so now let's do one thing. Let's take a break for lunch. This break will be for one hour. Ah, uh, Microsoft. What is Studio is used for? The scope I have is Studio is basically for the development where you can develop the chat posts. Okay, and that can be integrated with any application. Like if you are working with Power Platform, Power Pages, so you can build the chat bot over there, and it can be integrated with your Power Pages or your websites. But for more information, I can share you the link for the Copilot Studio. Okay, so here you will get all the information about the Copilot Studio. What are the capabilities of Copilot Studio? Those who have already worked with uh, Virtual Agent, that was a part of Power Platform. Now it is renamed as Copilot Studio, where we can build the interactive chatbots. Okay, so you can just have the detailed information about the Copilot Studio. So now let's take a break for uh, one hour, and uh, after the break, we will be discussing uh, how we can create the effective prompt using Copilot. And I will be giving you the demo that will be totally demo based session now after the break, uh, because I will be showing you using the prompt uh, with a Copilot uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook. Okay. and then after that when this part will be clear creating the prompts we will be using the prompt with different use cases like let's say for marketing people uh, i have the uh, related resource available i have all the documents available that i am going to use for this training let me show you um yeah so as you can see i have finance related document with me it related hr related marketing related so i will be using this document and will show you the demo for the particular use cases keeping in our mind okay so let's take a break let's come back after one hour <laughs> 